Hello guys, Mario here. Today I am showing you my well showing you one of my recent ships that I've completed building. This ship is the Donkerke or however you pronounce it. I honestly don't know. So this ship is a French fast destroyer. Well French fast battleship. I got those mixed up. Sorry. So, I tried to build it as accurate as I possibly could. This goes for length. Which, if you want to know my spare line, or spare blocks, I have, well, actually not spare blocks. Uh, spare uh, block length, I can add one more block. That's all. So, a new error I found out is when you make, when you load a giant ship like this, it will display the unable to load message. Although, it doesn't go for all big ships. If you can remember one of my previous ships, the USS Midway, when I load that ship, it doesn't give the message. It's just something interesting I thought I would point out. That's why I was loading it while recording. Normally I would just load it before. So, the ship it has... Um, I think it's seven or so guns. There are two two barrel sub guns, three quadruple barrel sub guns. I'm just going to call them sub because they are not primary or main. Then there are two um, main guns with four barrels. Here's a, a uh, UV system, or UAV system. There's the antenna, miniaturized uh, patio, or something like that. Um, walk area. I added flags, although they were on the design. I kind of did it for fun. There is seven seats and the empty area back here. The smokestacks this time actually go through the whole ship instead of just sitting on top. Um. I could probably improve the stairway because right now you have to go sideways to go in to seating here. This floor has nothing, this floor has nothing, this floor is the command center. Here's another antenna. There's the, there's the seaplane launch. Launcher, uh, there's the crane for the seaplanes, um, smokestack, which is actually built to match the design I was using. And like any other ship, it's slow. Very, very slow. One of my favorite parts about the ship is how slow these turns move. Kind of makes it realistic. Although one thing I hate is how every single person who has a moving glitch likes to ram the ship. This gets annoying. Although, they, although they can't even do anything to the ship. Even if you had a harpoon, you wouldn't be able to stop it that much if you're already launched. 
But if you're on base, you base plate, you will be able to stop the ship. But not for long because if you have your, I think, if you have your PvP mode off, then the time to grab, well, the time the harpoon can stay on your ship is limited. It's about a third of the normal time from what I found out. Um, so. I am actually kind of proud about this ship. Sure, its design was weird. I didn't really like the elevated part over here. I don't really get it. But besides that, I really like what I did with the ship. Even adding these flags. Just to make the Challenger happy. Also known as Decimal. Or that's what, whichever one you want to do. So like any other big ship, you can walk around on the deck just fine. You can go everywhere that you want, and you can even jump off if you so choose. One place that I never go when in this ship, when it's moving, is in the staircase. And it's always the worst place to be. Because if, it, if the ship glitches, you're going to get stuck under the staircase. Right in here. Which is the worst place you can be. Because that would just slow down the whole entire ship like I am right now. This is how slow big ships move when no one is sitting. Oh, when someone's not sitting. And normally if you sit down, it will go faster. But it seems a rock got into the ship. So, if you want me to make a ship you want, just comment it down below and I will try to make it. So, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment down below if you like the ship's design, if you want me to improve something on it, just tell me. If you want me to make a ship, tell me. And... See you guys next time. Mine are out.